Okay, so guys, quickly there is something I want to talk about CPA leave. Okay, uh, CPA leave is a platform that I have been working with for I think about a year now. I have actually you know, run so many reviews about them in my previous video, and I have so many of my CPA leave videos that are already trending. So uh, along the line, one of my subscribers contacted me audio from Jamaica, you know, asking me uh, one or two questions about CPA leave. You know, kind of telling me that she's facing some difficulties and. I didn't actually know that CPA leave was even as good to that extent. So then I went up to CPA leave, did some of my findings and research myself in order to know what she's talking about and how to resolve the problem. It's a very simple thing. So I believe Shandy, you might be watching this video right now, and or I hope this video gets to you. So if peradventure you come across this video as I don't ever have read it, please just come with me carefully so that will solve your problem because after now I don't think I'll talk about CPA lead again because CPA lead is a platform I've kind of uh, done with in the past I've moved on to bigger platforms so uh, for those of you who are still with CPA lead let me just show you something that I know you might be confused with as well because Shandy is equally confused about the same thing so let me show you how to get it resolved but before I proceed guys do not forget my name is Terrence and Anthony and I'm here to teach you how to make money online and I don't charge you anything, I do everything for you completely, 100% for free. All you just have to do is to watch my Mobile Online tutorial video whenever I upload them. So, as you can see, if you come over to my YouTube channel, you see that I've uploaded so many Mobile Online tutorial videos in the past, and I'll keep on uploading more. So, if you want to keep on enjoying my Mobile Online tutorial videos, even the more professional ones I'll be uploading in the near future and in time to come, I'll just kindly urge you to, you know, hit on the subscribe button, the red subscribe button. It's on the bell notification icon and then hit on all so that whenever I publish a brand new online tutorial video, you will always be the first to get notified. And there is something you can equally do for me, which is joining my special membership. Uh, if you hit on this join button right here, it's going to bring you to a section where you have access to join my special membership, which ranges from gold to diamond down to red diamond. And all of them comes with their special perks and special features, uh, which will show that you are a special member of this particular YouTube channel. And again, you have access of connecting with me as fast as possible compared to any other person who is just my regular subscriber. Okay, so guys, that's much of our time. Let's, you know, move on a little bit faster because I don't want to waste time with this video. It's just a little bit of settings I want to run in this video so that people like Shandy will understand what it, what it's all about when it has to do with CPA lead, okay? So guys, make sure you like this video and share with your loved ones so that they will probably know how to solve this problem in case you come across any in their CPA lead account. So the problem we are about solving today is our payment settings, okay? In CPA lead, you need to uh, consider your payment settings. If you come over to your account on CPA lead and come down into this section that says account, then you hit on the payment section. As you can see, there is something that, if you come over here, you see payment information error. Okay, for those of you who are gonna see something like this in your payment setting, Please follow me carefully in this video so that we will sort it for you, okay? I actually did this because of this particular error. I actually created this account so that the account will come with this particular error as well. So make sure you follow me carefully so that we will resolve the error. And as for those of you who might be facing the same challenges, you can equally resolve yours. Okay, so this is payment information error. If you come over to a payment setting, uh, it will never be set until you set it yourself, okay? The following issues must be resolved before payments can be made. Okay, if possible, you make any amount of money here on CPA with either via referral program because they call it a referral program for via offers, uh, completing, uh, I think, uh, um, completing of offers or whatsoever. You might want to receive your NH right, and if your payment information are not properly set up, up uh, CPA lead will never pay you. So take note of that. So if you come down a little bit, uh, you will see that. Um, your payment is scheduled next day, to next day means that you'll be paid at the end of the current month for the last earnings, which is, for example, you get paid at the end of February for earnings generated in January. So, payment to be issued. Your account shows no outstanding regular payment, blah, 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 blah. So, the main problem now we are having, we want to solve is our payment issue. So, if you come over to this section, I just hit on visit extra payment info forms, okay? So once you come over to this section that says visit extra payment info forms, this is what it's going to bring you. And these are the two major challenges most people face and they don't know how to solve because if these two major things are not sorted out, 
there is no way you're going to receive your payment. Okay, so let me just show you the simple thing you need to set in case you want to earn from CP, in case you want to withdraw from your CPA lead account. Okay, one of them is your tax form, which is the W8 online form and online compliance certificates. Okay, so let me show you some other things you need to set again before uh, setting the tax form, which is W8 online form and the online compliance certificates. You need to check out your account details, which is your contact information first. Okay, as you can see now, uh, I just did a little bit of some of uh, settings for this particular account. As you can see, my name is here Daniel, and my, my, other, uh, my last name is here Anthony, company name Daniel Anthony. And I picked my street address. Make sure you pick your street address and then uh, suit or apartment, which can be optional. Then CD, I picked my CD and I picked my state. And I added my zip code and my country is there. My phone number is there. You can equally add fax, but it's optional. And again, another thing you need to take note of is the earner's name, which is the person who's going to receive the earnings from CPA. The CPA lead will need an account to send the money to, okay? They won't just send the money into thin air. They will need an account to send the money to. And as you can see here, the minimum payment threshold is $5. That's the minimum. And let's check, okay? The minimum payment amount we can send is based on the payment method you select, okay? You must select a payment method, and the payment method with which they work with mostly is PayPal, Payoneer, CPA lead account, which is another CPA lead publisher account, or wire transfer, then and direct deposit, which is for only people that are based in the United States, okay? And check by mail, and check by mail, uh, you're gonna get paid once you hit your $20, and if you have a PayPal account and you want to start receiving your earnings through PayPal, once you hit $10, you can withdraw. Then with Payoneer is $25, I guess, or whatever. Then uh, for those of us who our country do not accept uh, uh, PayPal, you can go for Payoneer or you can go for a wire transfer. I think wire transfer is when you hit uh, around $75. They can send out the money directly to your country, your local bank account in your country or whatever, maybe your dollar account. Or whatever. So now, for those of you who have PayPal accounts, you selected that PayPal. For those of you who have Pioneer, Pioneer is there for you. And for those of you based in the US, you can use the ACH only for those of you based in the US and so on. Okay, so I quickly picked Pioneer. Uh, you can pick PayPal or whatever. And then, okay, password, you can change the password. And if you don't wish to change your password, then you just hit on save account changes. And then, after you've done that, they'll move on to the most important thing, which is the tax form. Uh, the W8 online form, okay? Everything is going to be sorted online. So come with me while I work through the business step. Most especially people like Shandy from Jamaica. If I find it difficult to set up your payment uh, details in your CPA lead account, this is the right video for you to watch, okay? So if you come over here now, it says Certificate of Foreign Status of Beneficial Owners for United States Tax Withholding. Okay, so uh, let's put on a little bit and see. This is my own personal stops now. I have done a little bit of setting, but I stopped along the line so that I will show you guys the remaining aspects of it in this tutorial video. Okay, so uh, country is there. I've already set it out. Business name is there. My name is there. Address and whatsoever mailing address and all of that. And then CD. Then for tax ID, it's optional. Okay, um, tax ID type you go with the SSN or the ITN. These are the most popular ID type. Foreign tax ID number is optional. You don't have to pick that. Then this section is for U.S. taxpayer ID number. Okay, if you're based in the U.S. and you are a U.S. Uh, uh, taxpayer, you must have a tax ID, taxpayer ID, and this is where you can include the taxpayer ID number. But if you are not from the United States, it's optional. Okay, foreign tax ID number. If you don't have as well, it's optional. Okay, this one is for people from the United States, and this one is for people that are not from the United States. Then the next most important part now is claim of tax treaty benefit. If applicable, okay, if it's applicable, take note, some of these things are all optional. Do not let them confuse you or do not let them get you stuck or stranded. Some of them are optional. If applicable, if not applicable, you can claim for it not to be applicable. But let's see if we can run one or two basic settings. The beneficial is a resident of Dash country. Okay, let me pick my country here. Nigeria, I'm from Nigeria. Within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the United States and the country, if required, the U.S. taxpayer 
identification number is stated above, okay? The beneficial owner is not an individual. Uh, derives the item or item of income for which the treaty benefits are claimed and if applicable meets the requirements of the treaty provision dealing with the limitation of benefits and all of that. Okay, you click on it. The beneficial owner is a resident of Nigeria. You click on it. Then, uh, if required, the U.S. taxpayer identification number is stated above. This one has nothing to do with us. We are not from U.S. and we are not United States taxpayers. Then, the beneficial owner is not an individual. Derives the item or item of income for which the treaty benefits are claimed and, if applicable, meets the requirements of the treaty provision dealing with limitation on benefits. We are individuals, so we can leave that. Uh, the beneficial owner is not an individual. In claiming treaty benefits for, in, for dividends received from a foreign corporation or interest from a U.S. trade or business of a foreign corporation and meets qualified resident status. Okay, uh, all of these are for people that are it's not kind of uh, individual. So if, if you are an individual, you don't have to fill out all of that. Okay, um, the beneficial owner is related to the person obligated to pay the income within the meaning of section two six seven bracket open B bracket close B or seven o seven bracket open and bracket close B and the file form eight eight three three in the amount subject to withholding receiving during and calendar year exceeds in the five hundred thousand dollar blah 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 and all of that. Okay. We are not related to any person with this and all of that we can skip that section. Um, then special rates and conditions if applicable listen if if applicable the beneficial owner is claiming the provision of article dash the treaty identity of line nine here above a claim blah 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 whatsoever. So uh, it's nothing. You can skip this if applicable. You can claim that it's not applicable to us. Uh, okay. Then we move on. Explain the reason the beneficial owner meets the terms of the treaty article. Okay. It's it's not applicable to us. Then I scroll down. Uh, national principle contract. I have provided or will provide a statement that identifies those national princi principle contracts from which the income is not effectively connected with a conduct of a trade or business in the United States. I agree to update this statement as required. Okay, national principal contract, uh, capacity in which acting or not. Okay, let's go through that again. I have provided or will provide a statement that identified those national principal contracts from which the income is not effectively connected with the conduct of a trade or business in the United States. I agree to update the statement as required. Okay, let's click on this one. This one is a national principal contract. Let's click on it. Then scroll down. Then certification. Then under penalties or perjury, I certify that. Okay, one the number one shown or form of contract as per identification number. I'm waiting for a number to be issued to me or whatsoever and blah blah blah. I'm not subject to backup withholding because I'm, I'm exempt from backup withholding or whatsoever. Then we go down. And then you screw and check. Then I agree that I am electronically signing a W8 form and that all of the above information is accurate. And if not, I will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Okay, I'll sign all the sign in person here. Signature in person, I can sign with my name, Daniel Anthony. The date, okay, this is actually the date of signing this contract. Let's go through it again. Uh, just be a personal. Uh, individual, okay, uh, taxpayer ID number, all of these are optional, foreign tax ID, if any optional, okay, now scroll down, then we on sign and submit, let's see, okay, success, your request was successfully processed, okay, as you can see now, the tax form W8 is completed, okay, now we have, complete, let's set, set it up, now, the only thing that is left for us to completely set up now is the online compliance certificate, okay? So, uh, the online compliance certificate now is the next stage that we're going to go through. So, let me quickly walk you through that stage again so that our payment settings will be 100% set up, okay? So, let's go to the online compliance certificate and see. 
Uh, then for the online compliance certificate form section, okay, request for personal compliance certificate. So guys, do not be much in a hurry because I'm carefully reading this out so that you understand what it's all talking about and you can equally go through them yourself at your own spare time so that you understand before clicking anything so that you won't click or to land in trouble in the near future. Okay, request for person compliance certificate. Certificates, uh, okay, certification, the under the undersigned hereby certifies to CPAD.com. LLC doing business in CPAD theory refers to CPAD that whatsoever, okay. And uh, this is more like, okay, I hereby sign here, certification. Under penalties of perjury, I certify that I am electronically signing a compliance certification form and that all of the above information is understood and read and if not, I will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. That's not a big deal. Okay, now to signature of the person I used to sign my name. Uh, let's check if everything is fine. If you can go through this uh, compliance certificate and all its requirements and all of that. Mm, okay, now let's sit on sign and submit. Uh, success, your request was successfully processed. Thank you for submitting if your question concerns what's Okay, guys, as you can see now, online compliance certificate is equally complete. Everything has been set up, our payments have been set up, um, and that's it. So now we can receive payments from CPA. So for those of you who are on CPA lead, uh, or for those of you who are already working on CPA lead, directly referring people to CPA lead or you know, completing offers yourself or referring people to complete other offers on CPA lead and maybe afterwards you generate some amount of money for yourself and you don't know how to withdraw, you start having issues with your withdrawal payment or your tax form, uh, the, which is the uh, electronic uh, WH, W8 form or whatsoever, or, or your online compliance certificate, then this is the right video for you to watch so that you know how to set them up. It's very simple. Most people do find these things difficult, but I don't know why they do find it, this stuff difficult. These then are things you can do electronically. You don't need any physical documents, only if it's mandatory, but some of these things are optional. So, guys, do not waste much of your time. If you have any other questions to ask me regarding uh, payment settings or CPAD account payment settings, just reach out to me as fast as possible. But if it's for the uh, tax form and the online compliance certificate, I think there's it. And But if there is anything you think I didn't, you know, hit on the head, you can drop your comment in the comment section below. Or reach out to me because if you check any of my video description below, you'll find all of my social media handles there, including my WhatsApp, even my direct call, and you'll find all of them there. And you can get in touch with me as fast as possible. So, guys, this is it. Uh, do not forget my name is Remains and Alan Tony. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and urge and beg you to subscribe. And to meet again in my next tutorial video, where I'll be talking more on how you can make money online. My name is Remains and Alan Tony. But for now, I just have to say bye bye. I love you all. Peace.